Maria, Maria, ô oh, Maria, estou enamorado por ti, Maria, ei 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 What's up guys, welcome to one more video, Blue Sheep Cast, my name is Pablo, and my name is Manolo, Today we're going to be talking about something that if you get in, it's impossible to get out. In this video, we're going to be giving you five signs that you can know if your crush is friend zoning you. And without delay, let it roll! So you start texting your crush and you start noticing you're catching feelings. But well, backing off a little bit, you gotta know where you stand in this whole relationship. Does the person have the same feelings back or maybe you're moving faster than the person actually is? So since this is something mostly us guys go through, today the video is for you guys. When you're talking to a girl, they start dropping off some hints and signs even if they necessarily don't mean to. Hint number one. When you're talking to someone, it's very normal for you guys to start giving each other pet names. So when those nicknames are things such as friend, buddy, bud, we're having a problem here. And to be honest, I think that's one of the biggest signs because the girl wants to make sure that you know that you're her friend. Because essentially if she had other intentions, she would be calling you sweetie, cutie, hun. So if you're noticing this, this could be a sign that you are in a friend zone. However, this is only one point, so there might still be hope for you. So let's keep adding those points up and see what we get by the end of this video. Hit number two. It's still on the matter of texting. When you're talking to them, you're really quick to reply because you're obviously liking them. But in their case, you notice something a little bit different. They're dry texting. They take hours and hours to reply you. They send you maybe just one word text or two word replies to a big paragraph that you might send them. It kind of makes you feel like she's not interested in the conversation. The worst feeling ever. And if we're starting to like this girl and we're seeing those type of replies, it really hurts because we're putting so much effort to the text and so much effort to the message and the person is just like, okay, okay, oh, I see. This is laughing emoji. LOL. Sign number three. And let's say you're still texting this girl, and despite, despite all, all the, the signs, signs, you are a warrior. You fight for your things. You still ask her out. So let's say you go ahead and fight that girl to, I don't know, a movie or like to go eat some pizza. So you text her, and she actually says, sure, why not? And you're like, yeah! But she adds a PS. She asks if she could bring friends. Quack, 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 quack. Take that as a friend zone. Cause what you wanna do is get her alone, maybe try to get in a kiss. But what she wants, she wants her friends to be there too. So she's blocking you with her friends. And if you're counting your points right now and you're only three, boy, I gotta tell you something about your life. You are friend zone! Sign numero quatro. Asking advice on relationships is something that is normal. But there are some things that should be giving you red flags. But every time she has a chance to ask you for advice, she does. But it's with another guy! That shows that she's not interested in the relationship you guys are building together. For her, it's a friendship relation. And she cares about your opinion, of course. Because after all, we care about what our friends think. Hint number... Five. So this last one is a cherry on top of the cake. If this is actually happens to you, my dude, there's no question about it. Forget it. Because if she tells you stuff like this, that means that she doesn't want you for herself. She wants you for her friends. The last sign is, she tries to set you up with her friends. So if you have been getting all these hints, let's see what a friend zone is for you. I wonder what Jennifer's gonna be doing this weekend. I'm gonna text her and see, let me see. Hey cutie, how's it going? What you up to? him again. Hey, friend, smiley face. Ooh, okay, she answered back. Hey, friend. I, I guess she just talks to like that to everyone. So, what are you doing this Friday in the afternoon? A few moments later. Oh, I can answer him now that I'm not doing anything. The movie's on Friday. I have to see. Um, maybe my friends could come with, cause it's gonna be kind of awkward just us two. So, sure. 
who is oh my gosh she finally replied I guess she's just busy yes she agreed to go out with me wait is she could bring friends what is she I guess I guess that's okay sure hey I got some popcorn all right for the movie I'm glad you came to the day actually I have yeah. to tell you something, by the way. Whoa, yeah, go ahead. I need some advice on this boy. Wait, what? Advice? Some boy advice? I know what advice I'm having, is. I'm having some trouble. <laughs> really? With what? Um, he's dropping some signs, and I don't know if he's friends only. Me. Well, I think I know a little bit about, about that, but... Well, so what you do is... So yeah, those are like the five basic signs for knowing that somebody's friends only. you. There's like this really great video on the channel, I think it's called like, Blue Ship Cast, that they posted a video about it, so you should check it out. I heard about them. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. You know you. who would love you? Who would My you? friend. She oh, loves okay. boys like you. Nice. So I hope you guys like the video. We hope that you're not going through this right now. But if you know that person that's going through a friend zone, don't forget to send them this video and share with them. So if you like this video, give us one thumbs up. up. If you don't like this video, give us two thumbs up. With that delay, see, see you next time. time. <laughs>